WKXW Trenton, WKXW HD, a Town Square media station. From the P.J. Fitzpatrick Home Improvement News Desk, New Jersey's most listened to station, New Jersey 101.5 News, starts now. It's 10 o'clock. I'm Steve Greenfield. Topping our report this hour. Crews battled brush fires for hours along Interchange 13 of the Jersey Turnpike this afternoon and evening near Newark Airport. No flights were impacted, but traffic was extra slow during rush hour. An 18-year-old from North Brunswick is arrested a month after a deadly two-vehicle crash on Route 1 in New Brunswick. Noah Reyes was charged with second-degree vehicular homicide in connection with the March death of 65-year-old Dennis Frick, who lived in Freehold. Gambling addiction is a bigger threat in the Garden State with legal sports betting and casino games at our fingertips. Problem gamblers obviously have their own struggles, but it's also no walk in the park for their loved ones. Coping with a loved one's harmful gambling can be extremely stressful, says Christina Palladino with the Council on Compulsive Gambling of New Jersey. Communication breakdowns are bound to happen, finger pointing, perhaps life-changing financial issues. You may experience many mixed feelings. It will take time to rebuild trust, but it is very important. And it's important to not take the burden on yourself, she says, a.k.a. the debt. Gammonon has regular meetings all over the state. The anonymous platform is for people who've been impacted by someone else's gambling disorder. Dean Alflamia, New Jersey, 101.5 News. Saddled with student loans, a new plan by the Biden administration may offer some relief. After failing to get its original plan off the ground, with the Supreme Court putting a stop to it, President Biden is pushing a new student relief plan aimed at forgiving federal loans for more than 30 million borrowers. While college degree still is a ticket to the middle class, that ticket's becoming much too expensive. The president's new plan would expand federal student loan relief to five new categories of borrowers through the Higher Education Act, which administration officials believe puts it on a stronger legal footing than the sweeping proposal, which had been killed by a court majority last year. Hear the latest New Jersey 101.5 newscast when you want, where you want, and on demand. Go to nj1015.com and click on demand. It's not looking all that sunny tomorrow. When will that change? The complete New Jersey 101.5 forecast is coming up. New Jersey fast traffic in one minute. Download the New Jersey 101.5 app. Sign up for alerts and receive instant notifications on breaking news, weather, and traffic. Staying connected to what matters most. Southbound Route 130 is closed because of an accident in Pensauken between Marlton Pike and Airport Circle. Also, the Burlington-Bristol Bridge had a bridge lift, but it's done now. 295 North with a stall. The left lane is closed approaching exit 43 in Mount Laurel. That's in the middle of, uh, of a construction zone, so it's going to be extra slow there. And watch for flooding in Atlantic County on Black Horse Pike, both ways west of the AC Expressway. You've got the right lane closed. We still have troubles in Monmouth County on Route 18 with all lanes shut northbound between exit 13 and exit 19. It's an accident investigation of a serious motorcycle accident from earlier. And we've also got delays in Monmouth County on the Garden State Parkway. And it's because of construction going southbound in the local lanes, 109 down to 105. Two left lanes are closed. The car lanes of the turnpike are closed both ways, only northbound, only as far as exit 12. We have some uh, devil's traffic on Route 21 in downtown Newark following their game at the Rock and across the Hudson, leaving New Jersey. Two lanes scheduled to be closed upstairs at the George Washington Bridge. Cars and buses head to the lower deck and try and avoid Route 3 West from Secaucus into Rutherford. We have construction over by the Western Spur causing delays. Traffic every 15 minutes. Next report 1018, New Jersey 101.5. Your daily dose of New Jersey on the go. Download the New Jersey 101.5 app, enroll in alerts, and dig into local stories, news, weather, and more. Your connection to everything Jersey. New Jersey 101.5 instant weather. Clouds will increase into tonight. There will be some spotty showers after midnight. Lows will be in the upper 40s. A cloudy sky into tomorrow with a couple of showers. It's going to be much cooler across the northern half of the state. Highs will be in the low to mid-60s. It'll be in the 50s at the shore. It'll still reach the low 70s across South Jersey. Rather cloudy tomorrow night with some more showers. Lows will be near 50. Occasional rain and drizzle Thursday, but then a steadier, heavier rain likely into Thursday night. I'm meteorologist Brian Thompson. We have got 63 degrees in Berkeley Heights, 61 degrees in Manalapin, 60 degrees Salem. Fast traffic, instant weather every 15 minutes on New Jersey 101. 
101.5. Brought to you by Maple Leaf Farms in Manalapan, one of the largest garden centers in New Jersey. They sell wholesale to the public. They grow what they sell with the largest selection of tropicals, hanging plants, annual flats, roses, and so much more. Visit MapleLeafFarmNJ.com. Their prices are insane.